Out 11, we are following breaking developments in the case of missing baby Jana. Tonight, almost three months after she was reported missing, police have arrested the young girl's father for murder. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Connor. We have been following this story since May, and now Jeffrey Fairbanks is in jail and facing charges for his daughter's death, even though a body has never been found. RTV6's Melissa Mahadeo joins us live outside of the jail now with the very latest. Yeah, Todd, we've been following the case of the missing baby Jana for months now. Sadly, tonight she is still missing, but now a new movement in this case. Of course, that arrest coming today, that baby's father. This is the face of three-month-old baby Jana. The baby girl plastered across media headlines this summer as authorities searched ponds, landfills, and sifted through garbage off of Candiapa Boulevard desperately trying to find her. Tonight, Jana is still missing and presumed dead. But her father, 45-year-old Jeffrey Fairbanks, is now behind bars, preliminarily charged with murder and neglect of a dependent. Jana first went missing on May 28th. Her mother, 35-year-old Yolanda Rivera, initially calling 911, frantically saying her baby had been killed. Fairbanks eventually admitted his daughter was dead, publicly saying he'd rolled over her tiny body while sleeping, panicked, and then disposed of her. Days after the search began, Rivera then filed a protection order against Fairbanks. In the report, she says he'd become repeatedly violent over the past two years, writing, there have been so many incidents. It wasn't his first time with the law either. Fairbanks was found guilty for 2013 domestic battery charges against his former wife, Jennifer just last month. Those charges out of Hendricks County also ordered him to stay away from her. Now, Fairbanks is once again charged. This time, it's for his daughter. And tonight, investigators say that probable cause affidavit detailing Fairbanks' arrest is not yet available. They're telling us it will likely be available tomorrow morning. Of course, as soon as we have that, we will bring you that information. Stick with us. We'll update you on the RTV6 app as well as on Twitter. For right now, reporting in front of the jail, I'm Melissa Mahadeo, RTV6 News.